Hey Carlster fans, I'm the Carlster and welcome to my channel. Um, this has been a very tough week for me. Um, that's why I haven't made a video in a couple days. Um, because I'm, I'm missing my dad a lot. And, you know, my dad was a very fun person. He, um, he always made sure that he made things fun for me. Like, you know, he would, um, he would always be cracking jokes and, you know, and that kind of thing. And he, was very wise he um and i think you know i think i gained his knowledge he was a very s smart individual um or as i like to say intelligent my dad was very intelligent he um he loved all of us kids you know he loved us all the same um now you know, we would get on his nerves, you know, and, um, it, I think my brother and my sister don't realize that this hits me harder than it does them, um, because I'm the youngest, and, you know, I spent, growing up, I spent more time with my father than um, my brother and sister did when they were adults. Um, I... I... don't think that they understand... How it makes me feel that they spent most of their time being off doing other things. And technically, it's up to the brother and the sister, in, in my mind, it's up to the brother and the sister, the older brother and sister, to help guide the youngest sibling. You know, yeah, the parents can guide the youngest sibling too, but it's also part of the the um, older brother and sister's job as well, which was very difficult because they weren't there. And so, um, you know, my dad, he always did the best he could at taking care of me. When I was over at his house, he um, always had food. He, you know, he always made sure that I was fed. He um, always made sure that um, I did what I was supposed to over at his house. You know, and so, you know, and there would be times where we would get on each other's nerves. But you know what? That's normal. That's part of being a um, son and a father. That's part of having a son and father relationship. You know, especially a son and a mother. You know, sons and mothers don't always get along. And... Mother and daughter doesn't always get along, and father and daughter doesn't always get along. And I wish that my brother and sister would have been there for me more. Um, and I used to be bitter towards my sister, not so much anymore. Um, every once in a while, um, but then it, it's more 
that I'm bitter towards my brother. And, and the reason why that is, is because he wasn't there for me much. And I really, really wished he would have been. Um, I would have, I would ask my dad, I was like, dad, you know, I would like to talk to my brother. Can you please have him call me? He'd never call me. So I'd be waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And I never got a phone call from my brother. Um, my brother used to call me on the holidays. Not anymore. Um, and I don't know why. Um, and, you know, that really hurts because... I feel that I am all by myself with no people from that side of the family dealing with this. Specifically, my brother and my sister. I feel like I'm the only one that that has to sit here and having to deal with this all by myself because they're not here to support me. And and it stinks because you know. My brother, yeah, okay, I understand he's busy doing whatever he's doing, but I'm not asking him to drop everything he's doing. I'm not. I just wish he would come see me so I can tell him how this is making me feel. And, and it's hard for me to describe on here how I feel about my father not being here. And I don't know why my brother won't see me. I, I, I have no idea why. He's never explained it to me. You know, I get so angry at him because, you know, he doesn't even talk to me. I shouldn't have to be the one to always message you to see how you're doing. He can message me or he can pick up his phone and call me when he's not busy. I understand that he's working all the time, but that doesn't mean that when you have time off that you can't call me. I, I, I don't understand it, dude. It sucks. But anyway, enough about that. Um, my, my father, um, he, he would always um, figure out something to do. He was very good at making sure that I wasn't bored. Um, he, uh, he would always try to find a movie to watch on television. If there wasn't a movie to watch on TV, he, he would make sure that we would go find something to do. Um, he would rent movies. And he would make sure that, you know, they were... Of course, child appropriate. Um, my father uh, loved Star Trek, so I um, so the whole Star Trek thing is kind of rubbed off on me a little bit, just a little bit. I'm not, I'm not a huge Star Trek fan, 
Um, the only fan of the whole Star Trek thing that I'm a fan of are the ships, and that's pretty much it. Um, and my father would always make sure, you know, that we would always have somebody to visit because he knew, he knew that I loved visiting people, you know, and, 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 you know, that was always fun. And sometimes me and him would just get in the car. He wouldn't call people and we'd just show up to their house unannounced. And I'm like, um, dad, do you know how to call first? <laughs> um, and he, he wouldn't, he would just show up and say, hi, you busy. So, yeah. Um, I remember, um, one time he took me to go over to my, co my, uh, cousin Irene's house and his cousin too, but anyway, um, and he rang the doorbell and here comes cousin Irene's husband to the door in his birthday suit, and I'm like, oh, jeez, I could have lived without seeing that. So, you know. Um, and I think that it's very, very tough for people with the developmental disabilities to comprehend um death um of a family member um it's difficult in ways of the fact that um a lot of us um don't understand why people have to go and why they're not why they're not there for you to talk to and it gets frustrating and everybody goes through that but I, I feel that it's different for us as people with developmental disabilities and you know, all I can say is just hang in there and do the best you can. Um, I miss you a lot, Dad. I love you very much. And I, um, I hope you're doing okay up in heaven. So... Um, this is the Carlster signing off, and please keep it cool, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.